As the world continues to evolve at a rapid pace, it has become abundantly clear that future generations will need every tool at their disposal to help shape a bright future. From an educator's standpoint, this not only means adapting to new technologies, innovations, and social changes, but also instilling a foundation that will allow each student to thrive as they become productive members of society. Some of our struggles that we have in looking at how education has changed, our students are suffering from a little more anxieties than in the past. A lot of that can be correlated to the amount of information that they are receiving on a daily basis, whether it's through social feeds, news feeds, internet. That has raised some challenges in education, but that's also part of the evolving nature of education. It's not so much a didactic teaching method where we're standing in front of a class lecturing, but perhaps it's a time for us to get together and do a collaborative method where we work together to arrive at the answer rather than me just giving the answer to you. One of the things that I saw as a contrast to my education to my boys, I have four boys, is educational opportunities that really saw them as individual learners. And so I know that I was taught in a great classroom, but with a lot of numbers. So I know I have teachers that I really appreciate and still reflect on how they taught, but I wasn't seen as much more than one more of the classmates. Having worked with young people for a number of years, I really remain optimistic that we have a bright future ahead of us with the young people assuming leadership positions and just functioning citizens of our great country. But I've observed some things that I think probably need to give attention in general ways. I think we need to be mindful that those basic life values of honesty, kindness, integrity, respect have a place. In this generation, I think we need to teach to the whole student, but we need to give them opportunities and involve them in community service where they're learning to give back. Beyond preparing students for college or a lucrative career, educators are also tasked with promoting an atmosphere that inspires students to remain accountable and responsible. Here in the Texas Hill Country, San Marcos Academy provides the epitome of a value-based, comprehensive Christian education. A lot of what informs our educational practices oftentimes is the business world. And in modern business acumen, people are forced to work with each other more often. Students are asked to come to the career fields with soft skills, being able to hold a conversation with somebody, being able to debate an issue without taking offense, being able to have an idea, but realizing that idea may be thrown on the table and then tossed out for something better or something that accomplishes the task in a more efficient manner. Translating that into the classroom often means we do teamwork or we do group work approaches. We do a project together as a class or as uh, groups within the class. We used to have a very compartmentalized way of looking at education and we've learned and realized that education is not compartmentalized because our lives are not compartmentalized. They all weave into each other in some aspect, form or another. In band, in choir, in any of those, they have to learn their part and how they fit in. You want them to know they are an integral part of something. They've got to do their part for the other parts to work. I came from a school that there wasn't a lot of activities, but coming to a school where I can go to the football games and play sports and go see the productions and be in the band, it's super fun because it's more than just school, it's overall, everything is fun. My academics have improved a lot better. My relationships with my friends have improved. I have lifelong friends. The teachers are really caring for you and they care about your education. One thing that I've noticed is that there needs to be a safe place to fail. At the academy, when young people do have a failure, there are systems to support accomplishments or seeing a positive outcome to that. Nestled in between Austin and San Antonio, San Marcos Academy provides a rigorous curriculum while also instilling the values and virtues that place every student on the path to lifelong success. The founding principles of the school were a rigorous pursuit of academics, spirituality, and physical well-being for the students. 
We try to maintain those even to this day. We're 111 years old. We still try to have a rigorous pursuit in those areas. We've always had an international population as a part of our boarding population. I'm from Luanda, Angola, and I moved to America when I was about nine years old. For high school, my mom had to move back so I had to find a place where I could stay because I wanted to continue my education here. So I found SMA and I've been going here for about four years. In China, you have less activities, even the sports you are forced to do for your credit. But here you can choose whatever the sport you want, you can take whatever activities you want, and you can do the sports competitions you want. Also the culture, the food, the way they communicate are so much different how they are able to talk about their faith and how their faith is able to grow is great. How they are challenged academically is great. And we have them at all three levels. So we have lower school, middle school, and upper school. So we're able to see that across the board. And then also just how much they can get involved extracurricularly. And they're able to be in multiple things and still keep up their school. We can raise up these kids, educate these kids to go outside of the walls of this place and change the world. That's what makes an impact. That's what makes a change in our communities, in our nation, in our state, and in our world. To learn more about San Marcos Academy, visit smabears.org today.